Hello, everyone. Yes, Hi. we are here for uh, one more workshop of our amazing hackathon. And today I have uh, a very nice girl with me. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Elif Ilal from Chainlink Labs, and I live in Turkey. And I was a blockchain researcher formerly, but I'm community manager in Turkey right now. And that's it, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> yes, it's Jeez. So Elif is uh, with me today in the background because she will help me with the chat, with some moderator to have everything okay. So Elif, I will take you, you off now of the screen and uh, maybe in, in, you can uh, come at the end, okay? Okay, so, okay, whenever you want, yeah. Okay. See you, and let's start it. So I need to share my screen. Where is my screen? It's here. Here, it's better to be here. No. Here, here we are. Uh, remember that our other workshop about truffle, it was very, very basic. I only teach you how to install truffle, create a basic project, and then we compile and migrate a project in the truffle development environment. Now it's the time to do some tests. In the same way, we are using only the truffle development environment, so we are not uh, thinking about accounts and a real blockchain, it's local. But the idea is to understand how is the tests, how the tests work is. It's this, testing with Truffle. And remember that is me, I am Solange Gueiros, the people call me Sol, and I am a developer advocate at Chainlink Labs. Well, we arrived, did this in the last session, the truffle we need, and this is today, create a test and execute this test. It's, uh, again, a simple test. The idea, my goal is to teach the beginners. Uh, so all my workshops is supposed, supposed to be for beginners. And again, we have a pad, a collaborative pad to take our notes over there. Let's go. This is the pet. I you add this in the chat for you? Yes, probably you are coming to the pet. Let's go, let's go. Yes, we have some people join. And okay, tell me your name. I am so and you. Where are you based? Okay, I am from Brazil. Hey, Patrick, good to see you again. Anthony, Alessio, um, Omkar. Wow, so great countries here. We are really around the world. I love this. Hey, Andres from Venezuela. I hope to be near you in Bogota, in DEFCON in October. So I think I will first um, do a review with the project that we used in last time. In fact, I will copy and paste the project because if you lo lost the last section, you can uh, do it again with me now. So let's do this very quickly. What was the first point that we need to do? Uh, we all of this is in a terminal now. We installed the truffle, remember? And then we create a project. I think I will create a new project with you, only to be sure that 
this is okay. So this is the project that we created in last class. I will rename this and create the project again with you. Oh, I am in the Truffle Development Console. Let's go out and dot list. Yes, go out of this too. I will probably rename my project. Then I can do this project with you again. Okay. Done. This part is done. Let's come back for you. Uh, what we are doing now, let's create a project. So go here and create the project. You can have more space here. Yes. Hey, wow. Nandor from Serbia, Marco from Jamaica, Hristos, Greece, Arista in Indonesia. Good to see you. All of you here with me, guys uh, and girls, copy this, um, create this project. So now go to the terminal. If you didn't install it, Truffle, you can try now. Uh, you will get some time to do this, okay? But I will create a new project just now. Yes, I created the directory. And then I'm going to this directory. And the next step is to run the Truffle we need to initiate a new Truffle project. Let's do it so fast, so fast, because we already this, did this before. And is this, I will have a new project just now. I'm opening the project in the visual code. And then I'm copying and paste what we did in the last section related to Truffle, okay? Remember that now we are only talking about Truffle. So this is the smart content. Remember that Truffle, we need to create this structure for us. And in the uh, directory, in the folder, folder contracts, I will create a new file file called register 05. Is this? And I need to copy and paste. This is the smart contract that we are using. A very, very basic smart contract. Maybe not so basic because we have some control access inside. Remember that we have a array of information here that's colored here and we have a white list that it's uh, doing the control who can write information in this list in this array okay this is our goal with this project remembering save it and next step is to create the migration uh, truffle needs a migration uh, a migrate file it's a javascript file uh, in order to deploy this in uh, the environment that you choose in our case we are doing this locally so we are using only the truffle development environment let's go to the migration migrations folder just now this is the next folder and then is this, I need to copy and paste this file. So this file, it's uh, doing the deployment of the smart content and save this. And here we are. Today is the day of the tests, okay? Oh, uh, I come back to the messages just now. And uh, okay, you, uh, you didn't know about the DevCon in Bogota. Yes, the next Ethereum DevCon will be in Bogota in October. Uh, and I hope to see you over there. I'm sure that I will be over there talking about Chainlink and teach you. And here we are again. Uh, remember, we are here. So today, our goal is to create the uh, test, create our test file. 
and understand what is this. Next step, so go here and let's go to the tests folder. Is test or tests? Test folder and create this file register 05 test.js. Um, probably you already have noticed that we are doing our tests in uh, using JavaScript. This is important. You can do tests using directly Solidity, but I have more flexibility doing tests with JavaScript. I you uh, do this very slow with you now. I will put some parts of the test only because we need to understand what's happened. What contract I'm testing is the register five. So let's start adding this. In the same way, begin and and I will add more information here in the middle, okay? First information is this. I need to uh, to have to use this. This is the definition of my smart contract. Next step. Again, I'm defining that I will use this smart contract defined. So it will be this part. Inside this, we will add our tests, okay? Let's add this here. And I know I don't have any tests yet. We are only preparing this. I'm testing this smart contract. I can, this is a string, I can put some information uh, here. And I'm using the accounts that Truffle will uh, provide for me now in the Truffle development environment. Is this for now? Um, the next point, I'd like to use this account. Uh, it's good. I will create a message because I'd like to add this message and test this message in our smart content tests. So, oops, it's not this. Here, we are adding a message. And remember, I'm copying here for you, and you can copy and paste in your own computer. Uh, when we are doing tests with uh, JavaScript in Truffle, we can prepare something to our tests. And I'm doing this before each test, I'm creating an instance of the smart content chip register 05 so is this a new instance and i'm using a, the first account of this so now you understand that here i have many accounts okay and i'm using the first account to create the instance of this smart content that we are using to do the tests next step we, I'd like to do tests related to the constructor. Mm, wow, let's understand better this. Um, first, I will add this part for you. And then I can explain a bit more. Why I'd like to do tests with this? Let's come back here and understand. Here we can see, and this can be bigger, okay. Here we can see that in our smart content, we have a constructor. And in the constructor, I'm defining that the, the account who is creating the smart content will be saved in the owner. So is this. And then the same account must be in the whitelist. Our goal is to test if these two points, it's uh, happening in our smart content. I can close this now and come back here. Remember that we have this, so let's add the tests. I will, mm -hmm. I'm only adding the tests with you. Uh, I will copy and, and paste all of this part now. First here, 
and then for you. So we are in this part now. And this is our test. Let's add one more line here. Let's understand this. I'm testing the constructor. First test, the accounts zero uh, should be the owner. Uh, here I'm uh, doing a query in the smart contract and uh, I, have, I will get the response. The response will be the owner, it's here. And I'm testing if the response that I got here is the account zero. And if it's not, I need to say something. Okay, it's not the owner. Oh, this is a problem for us. Another test that I'd like to, to do. Uh, the account zero uh, should, be, should be in the white list. And I'm testing this. Is the account zero in the white list? Uh, here you can see that I'm calling this uh, from the account zero. I can do this from any account. Okay. Again, I'm awaiting the response and then checking if the response is true. Another point that I'd like to do. I'd like to test if the account one that is not uh, defined in the, in the constructor uh, it's supposed to not be in the white list. And this is, I'm checking if the account one is not in the white list. So this uh, return must be false. This response must be false. And then I can check, okay, this is false. Let's come back to you to say if you have some doubts in the chat, some comments. Hey, Pedro, good to see you here. Yes. Um, new ways are asking about a, a public meeting in Central Europe. Uh, maybe Elif uh, uh, is out now and she will come back in a few minutes and uh, we can ask her because he can, can know this better than me. And uh, in fact, we can try to discover this in our meetups in a few minutes. Okay, let's come back to our code now. This is the tests. How are you test this now? Okay, let's add the information for you. Okay, I am in the tag again. We are going now do this in a terminal, remember? I will run these comments. First, the Truffle developer. Remember that this is a blockchain simulator inside Truffle. I'm using only this today. Yes, uh, like you can see here, I have 10 accounts and 10 private keys. These 10 accounts are the accounts that Truffle is using in the, their tests. So the first account is this, the account zero, okay? Um, when we are testing, we, in fact, we don't need to first compile and migrate. Uh, we can do directly the tests because Truffle will compile for us. And uh, in fact, we are not in uh, deploying and uh, we don't need to migrate. So I am in the Truffle develop and test. Let's do it. Oh, where is he? Uh, here. Test. Uh, what site I am on? So I am in a terminal just now. And before we are here, we first installed Truffle. I will come back here only to be sure that we are in the same place. So we came here and we did this in the uh, previous session related to Truffle two days ago, Sunday. We already installed Truffle and uh, uh, we already make this project, did the init, and we create this file in last section. This is our smart content, okay? 
and we are doing some tests for this smart contract. So we are now here in a terminal again. And wow, I have some problems here. Let's understand what I forgot to do. Yes, uh, look mine. Probably you did this, uh, this better than me because I copied uh, all the tests here, but I forgot to copy from our pet the first part where I defined uh, my register instance of the smart contract. So I need to add this over there. Is this. Now, this part, it's creating a, a new instance of the register before do the tests. So first create this, then doing the tests with a new version of this. Save the file. And now I can do this again. Let's put this bigger for you. Add it now. Yes, so test again. And I will come back to our messages. Are we okay? Yes, it seems it's good. Yes, perfect. Yes, it's a bit slow today. Uh, remember that I told you that we don't need to compile before because every time Truffle is compiling the tests again, this is just happening now. Uh, Truffle compiled the tests, and then all the tests related to the constructor happen now. Uh, this is the account zero. Yes, is the owner is in the whitelist, and the account one is not in the whitelist. So this is the the basic part, and. Let's do more tests. We understand how this works. Now we are doing some tests related to the this part. Remember that we have the add info and set info, and both of these only an account that is in the white list can do. And to review our smart contract, we have the modifier only white list and here we are checking if the account who is sending the transaction is in the white list or not and if it's true it's continuing the code and this modifier is used in both add info and set info okay Let's do tests for this. I have these tests uh, done before. In fact, I have one test, but we are doing this. This and this, let's add this for you. So I am here in the middle, okay? I don't create a new. Ah, uh, yes. It's this that we need now. Okay, this is a, a new part of our tests related to the info. And in fact, I'm doing only one test now. And I'm uh, testing if the account zero could add information. Only this for now. Okay, let's try it. I will save the test and run the tests again. Um, and I can go to, come back to the chat to, to see. Hey, Matt, I am from Sao Paulo, Brazil. But just now I am in Amsterdam because of Death Connect. Connect. Uh, it was uh, uh, 10 days of events related to Ethereum. And uh, I, I did a talk here yesterday about Chainlink in the DeFi day. We have another uh, a developer advocate, Andre, 
uh, talked the past Monday, not this week, the other Monday, talked in the um, Ethereum day about chaining, and uh, it was a great week to share knowledge and to learn more. And uh, is this now our tests are done? We have a new test here. Okay, my account zero could add the information. Okay, let's do a new test. I you created this just now with you? Because I'd like to change the information. Should uh, now we are, uh, I, I just forgot the name, setting. We will change the information. You'll be using the setting for now. But I'd like to have another message. Hmm, okay, let's create another message here. The message one or two, the message two will be chain link hackathon. It's better. Okay. Have fun in the chain link hackathon. And this is this is our message, our new message. And I put this message in the same place, in the same index that I had the other message. But remember that uh, it's interesting to call this twice because for each test, I know that I have a new uh, instance of the register. So the idea is, first, I will add a message, then, I will change this message. I will use the add inf to add an, a message. Then I will use the set inf to change this message. And then I will check if the response is the second message. Is this. I need to copy this test for you. I, I didn't forget it. So this is this. Is this. This is the second test. You can copy and paste the test and do with me. Probably I forgot to save, yes. Now I have one more test. Let's try it. And I can come back to the chat. Hey, Star Alice. Yes, good to see you one more from one more girl from Brazil. I'm really so happy to be here. I really love to teach, especially for beginners. I have a, a problem. What's happened now? Wow. I did something wrong. I have no idea what's this. Let's discover together. You can discover with me. And uh, I will do another test only to be sure if it's uh, good or not. Um, I will try to put the same, same message twice, OK? Only to, to be sure if, OK, this is OK or this is not OK. Chrome are asking me, um if yes i'm using windows now uh, and uh, i know that i have a terminal directly in the visual code but for today i prefer to use in this way not yet uh what's happened now invalid the argument the reload chain link, it's an value. Uh, it's in um, because, ah, yes, uh, I discovered what I did wrong. When I'm using the set info, look here, I need to 
uh, to define which is the index that I'm adding the new information. And I forgot to do this. So let's come back. Yes, I can use the message to here, but I need to put this in the position zero. And that now this is the message to. I you add this for you again. Yes. So the problem is this. I forgot to put uh, which index I am adding this information. It's something like that. I can test it again. And like we are comment before, we know that here in the visual code, I can have a terminal too. But I just prefer to do this now. And yes, now I could add the information and set uh, the information. It means that I change the information that is over there. Uh, this is the basic I can uh, uh, continue to doing more tests. Uh, I I didn't prepare a test related to the um, the errors, but we can also try to get errors and fix the the errors and try to to discover okay what's happened if uh, a wrong account account are trying to put a message, so I'm expecting a error and I need to do this, uh, but. The goal today, it was to do only the basic tests. I know that you are waiting the truffle with chaining, and I didn't forget this. Uh, we are preparing, we are doing some update in our truffle box related to this. So wait a bit more because uh, our truffle box for chaining will be better in a few days. And I remember that someone asked me about events. When we are in the Chainlink website, we can check the events over there too. In the community, we have the events here. And if I go down, you can see all the events and uh, here we are, who asked about the events in Europe. We have an event in London, London. And uh, after this, yes, this is the next event in Europe. OK. And you can be in touch with us exactly in the events. I'm so happy that we are going to events in person again. Do you have any doubt related to the truffle tests to this part? Okay, I'm waiting if you have some doubts. And uh, uh, I am waiting and uh, I will really appreciate if you could give uh, give for us uh, your feedback related to this workshop and to the other sections too. Also to all sections we have is the same QR code and we will choose the section that it's inside and uh, you can tell us more about uh, what is better, how we can do a better workshop for you, what you need to learn, and uh, we really would like to do this for you, okay? And this here, you will choose all the workshops. Oh, this is our workshop today. And I hope to have some feedback for you. I think we don't have any questions. Okay, let's see. 
And for the other guys that uh, enjoy you uh, later, thank you so much for all of you in be here. You can see this session later in the same link. And uh, um, be prepared to the next truthful section. It was it was not in the, um, the calendar yet, uh, but wait that it will be over there soon. Uh, yes, I will do this. I will add this in a GitHub and I will share with this uh, the link with you later. Okay. And uh, hey, Elif, uh, I know that she's back. Are you ready, you in the stream again? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Good to see you here again. And uh, I, you did a great event. Uh, a few days ago. Could you tell more about this for us? <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Um, I'm community manager. That's why I organize a lot of events and workshop, especially technical events like Solidity teaching or Rust programming language teaching or, you know, smart construct development, blockchain application developments. And that's a big part of me. And we organize the workshop, Solidity workshop from zero to be expert. And we were 202 people in Ankara. That's amazing number. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it was seven hours, by the way. Yeah. It was wow. So long. Yeah. This is amazing. I'm so happy in hear this from you. And this is our goal. Uh, we are uh, uh, organizing events in our, our countries uh, to you learn more about Solidity. And this was a seven hours workshop for beginners with 200 people learning Solidity with us. Uh, I'm really mm -hmm. happy in know this and uh, be in touch with us, our few guys and girls to participate in the others, okay, in the next. And I, think, uh, yes, you can you can tell. Actually, uh, we can organize with you together. Why yes. Not? yes, this is our goal. We will yeah. do another event together and I will be in person with you uh, teaching some of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we didn't define the next yet. So uh, follow our networks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will discover this soon. And uh, thank you so much, Elif, to be with me today. And uh, I hope that you participate in more of our workshops during the, the hackathon. And uh, for all of you, uh, having fun in the hackathon. And bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.